continuity. First, let's assume that the function f is defined for all the values of x near a as well as at a. Then, if limit x extends to a, f of x is equal to f of a, then we say the function is continuous. What we mean by this is, suppose we have a graph like this, and if this is a, we say that this function is continuous if the limit exists, that is to the left hand side and to the right hand side, these both should exist and they should be equal, as well as the value itself should also be equal. Then we say the function is continuous. Sometimes the graph could be something like this. Look at this graph. In this graph, we can see the limit exists because to the left hand side and to the right hand side, the values are equal. But the function's value is not same as the limit value. Then we say this is not continuous. I hope you are able to get it. Now let's reframe this definition into conditions. The first condition of the continuity is the limit f of x equal to l must exist. That is the left hand value and to the right hand value, these should be equal. Then only we say the limit exists. So that should be the first condition. The second condition is f of a must exist. That means there should be a value when we substitute the a. The third condition is l must be equals to the f of a. That is the left hand side, the right hand side and even the value all must be equal to the f of a. Then we say the function is continuous. Okay, let's try one question. Check the continuity of the function f given by f of x equal to x plus 3 at x equals to 1. The best way to understand continuity is to draw the graph. From the graph itself, we can make out whether it is continuous or not. So here is the graph f of x equals to x plus 3 at x equals to 1. So there is a value and from the graph itself we can see there is a left hand side and there is a right hand side and even the value exists and all three are equal. So if we put it in statements we can write this as limit extends to 1 f of x is equals to 5. Secondly f of 1 is equals to 5 and these both are equal therefore we say that the function is continuous. Let us try one more question. Check the continuity of the function at x equals 0. f of x is x cubed plus 3 if x is not 0 and it is 1 if x is 0. Again the same approach, let us draw the diagram. So here is the graph. Here we can see that the right hand side, the right neighborhood is equal to 3 and even the left neighborhood is also equal to 3. So I can write as limit x tends to 0 f of x is 0 plus 3 that is equals to 3. Now coming to the f of 0, f of 0 is given as 1 and that is what we have represented over here and clearly these two are not equal therefore this function is not continuous. Okay, let us move on to the next question. Find all the points of discontinuity of the greatest integer function defined by f of x equals step x. So here we need to find where exactly this function is discontinuous. Again, let us draw the diagram. From the graph, we can see that the function is discontinuous at every integer. Therefore, I can write this as f of x is discontinuous at every integral point. Okay, before we move further, let me write down the important points to note. The first point is, All the polynomials like x, x square, 2x cube plus 3, all of this, then your cos x, sin x, then a power x, all these are continuous. Next, the function 1 by x, is continuous except at x equals 0. The graph looks something like this. Here is the graph. You can clearly see at 0 it is not continuous. The third point is
log x is continuous for all x belonging to open interval 0 to infinity and here is the graph. 